Hello all. Welcome to session 7 of csharp.net. In this session, I'm going to talk about .net tools. So, let's get started. There are few development tools that we can use for developing the applications using .net platform. What are the development tools? We have Microsoft Visual Studio as one of the development tool. Let me Google search here for Visual Studio. Just search for two words that is Visual Studio, that's it. And Google search. And as search results, you will get this link visualstudio.microsoft.com link. Just click on that link. And you can go to this uh, downloads section. You see, we have the community edition, we have professional edition, enterprise edition is there. So, community edition is uh, completely free, it's open source and free, guys. Whereas, professional and enterprise, you know, trial versions are there. After trial, you have to pay for the license. So, community is enough for us, okay? For whatever the sessions I'm going to take using this tool right uh, community edition is uh, fine for us in the coming sessions i'll show you how to download this and how to install this visual studio code for our purpose now we have another tool that is visual studio code okay visual studio code is another tool which is a lightweight version so this is heavy guys okay microsoft visual studio whatever that I have just now shown right by google searching right this kind of heavy tool but if you want a lightweight version then you can go with the Visual Studio Code, okay, which is a lightweight version. Just Google search for Visual Studio Code. So in the search results, you'll get this link, code.visualstudio.com. Just click on that link. And uh, you see, there is a download for Windows option and uh, you can download for other operating systems also. It's a lightweight version of the Visual Studio, guys. Visual Studio Code is a lightweight version of the Visual Studio and also it is free, guys, okay? You can download from here and you can use it for free. So it's an open source and free as it mentioned here. Okay. So finally, we have another tool that we can use with the .NET platform for developing applications or for running the code, you can say this Microsoft Visual Studio and Visual Studio code you can use for developing. But coming to the command line interface, you can use it for running the commands. Okay. Uh, so if you're not using this kind of IDs and if you're writing your code in some editors like a notepad or notepad plus plus such kind of editors and if you still want to run the programs then you can uh, trigger the commands from the command line interface okay the so what is command line interface just type uh, cmd here you'll get the command line interface cmd the command prompt whatever the command prompt you see right this nothing but the command line interface okay so by using the command line interface also you can run the programs fine so, uh, so these are the list of uh, .NET tools, guys. Okay, that you should be aware of before proceeding further. Visual Studio, which is a heavyweight. Uh, Visual Studio Code, which is a lightweight version. And uh, finally, we have the command line interface from where you can run few commands and still run the programs. Okay, without the IDs, also you can run the programs. So that's all for this session. I'll explain more about .NET in the upcoming sessions. See you. Bye bye.